So adaptive cards in Teams um, using Power Automate and obviously creating a record into Dynamics. It's quite a common concept that we, we see come up um, whereby we might have in this scenario, we've got Fiona, who's an account manager. Um, she's managed to just take a, a phone call from the sales line because all the sales team are quite busy. She then messages Martin and says, can you take this call, blah, blah, blah. He says, no, I can't. Please, can you take some details down? Now, instead of just writing it down on a bit of paper or putting it into a message or into an email where it gets lost, we can use adaptive cards and Power Automate through Teams and then that can submit a message. So if I just show you over here, if I click onto Teams here. So we're just in Teams, we're just logged in as, as Fiona, you can see here. So she predominantly takes phone calls and messages, you know, individuals either on their channels or through chat in Teams. So she's she's just taken a phone call from somebody who's interested in, say, a, a new training requirement for, for CRM. So she um, messages Martin, um, can you take a call about a new training requirement? please oh whatever I could spell here we go she sends that across to Martin and the Martin up the other end will then see this so I just flick across to Martin you can see under his chat he's got a little notification to say okay thanks can you take a call about require training requirement sorry please take a message We then go back to Fiona. Perfect. So from this individual message, what we can do over here, we can then see that we've got this option to use Power Automate and, and it's the name of the, the flow itself. We've just called this one Create Lead. So by clicking on here, you've got a lot of options. We could go and add something to an Excel file or row in online, create a Word document, update a record in Dynamics, post another message. But just by clicking Create Lead here, what we've then done is we just allow her permissions. It's the first time she's obviously used this, so we just click Yes on this. Yeah, continue. It's the first time she's run this flow. She's signing in. It's granting her permissions. Yeah, perfect. Oh, just click on here and here. And then this is just an adaptive card that we've created. So we've got a nice logo. You can have videos on here. You can have a few option sets in here. It's just saying, you know, capture some basic details. So first name um, is John. And we're just on the phone to him at the minute. Saying, please, can you give me some more details? So it's John Smith at smiths.com. And his phone number is something like that. And what is he interested in? So we've just got an option here to say, okay, well, I think we said the original thing was training. So we can then pick here, training. You can have more than one, or we can limit that just to saying, okay, you can only pick one value. So then all Fiona then has to do is click submit here on this adaptive card. What we've then done into the flow is in the background is then this goes and creates a lead in Dynamics, and it also then posts another message to the Teams chat channel in Teams. So if I just flick over here to Dynamics, you can now see when we go into the leads area here, um, leads open this week, today, there's a new lead that's been created. If we go into this lead itself, then again, you know, when we build this Power Automate, we can update any information that we need. So, you know, new leads um, from team, we could put the team channel it came from, the person that submitted it, any of the message details but I've just added that down here to description so the team message was that was what she was originally asking from Martin um, interested in it was the training solution that training um, bit that we picked and this was generated from the account managers team so we can pull information from the channel from the team itself the person that's done this and any context so you haven't got to duplicate every single thing in here of course once it is dynamics if we needed to then add any activities off the back of this we can um, and then of course if we go back to dynamics itself if i just click over here uh, sorry teams itself logged in as martin martin's actually part of one of the teams over here the sales team part of the sales team one of the channels you can see different channels in here is new leads 
So what we've then done as part of our Power Automate, it's just said, here you go. So, you know, a nice little adaptive car. We can change the names and things and stuff in here. So just a new lead, just to update anyone that's looking at this team that there's a new lead that's come in. You can have some actions off the back of this. Somebody could reply, start talking about this. Um, we could view this if we need to in Dynamics. We could have a link in here to the team's message if we need to. Um, I'm not sure why that message didn't come through there, but you can see here's one I prepared earlier, just a message. So the, the message from the team's message has come across, but it's, it's more just an indication. We don't need to do that, but we can. We can post something in a team's channel or to an individual user using adaptive cards as well if we need to.